Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me and Michelle for a new video today. Yes, that's right. Michelle dropped a Canva tutorial on my channel. I think it was last Tuesday, so about a week ago. And today we are going to drop another one. Well, she is. I didn't really have to do anything. And uh, big shout out to Michelle. You guys know her if you're in my Facebook groups. She is uh, one of the admins because I'm wrapping up the semester for my web development courses today basically I have to grade about a hundred final projects so this couldn't have come at a better time that way I don't have to do a YouTube video and I can focus my attention on uh, grading those projects so anyways we're gonna show you how to do a dispersion effect in Canva I didn't even know this was possible honestly so I learned a lot from watching the video and I think you guys are gonna like it so let's get started Now, very quickly, before we jump into Michelle's tutorial, just wanted to remind you, I have the weekly print on demand giveaway. You can enter using the link in the description completely free this week, sponsored by Merch Titans upload automation, Merch Ninja research tools, all sunsets, premium graphics and bubble scout, the only red bubble niche research and validation tool. So links in the description free to enter takes 10 seconds. Also in the description, there's a link to my eight day print on demand mini course and my print on demand Facebook group. If you guys want to check that out. Last thing, if you're not already a member of Canva, you can use the link in the description to support the channel. It's a very user-friendly graphic design application that runs right in your web browser. So very user-friendly. All right, let's get to this tutorial. Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hogue how-to session. Today we're looking at the shatter and splatter effect, or some people like to call it the dispersion effect. It looks really hard to do. Uh, it's very popular right now, but actually it is quite easy when you know the trick. Um, it's easy, that is, if you want to do it on a white background. If you want to put it on a black background, like uh, what we usually do on t-shirts and other colors, it's a little bit more difficult, but I will um, work, walk you through that also. A lot of people are using the effect to create movement in sporting type images, photographs, that sort of thing to create that look like it's just shattered. And I think it's a really good effect and I've even seen it used in food images. So uh, today we're going to look at creating an exploding sunset or retro sunset. And uh, before I get started, a little bonus tip. I've just realized that Canva have a new Curve Plus feature. So Canva recently added the ability to be able to curve text. So you put in a line of text, you go up here to effects and then click on curve and it curves the text automatically for you. And you can use this little controller here to make it uh, wider or fit your fit the curve that you're trying to affect you're trying to get. Now the new thing, the new bonus is you used to only be able to curve it and not add any other effects to the text, but now they're allowing you to add additional text, um, additional uh, effects. So for example, splice is a good one I like to use. And uh, you can just add all sorts of effects, um, all the whole range of effects at the same time as curving it, which is pretty awesome. Let's just remove the text for now and have a look at the the image that we want to create. So let's get started. Over here in the elements box, you're going to want to put in splatter. Oh, I need to change this. So have it on animated or static. We just want both. Now, one of the really cool things that I discovered is this little uh, splatter effect here. If you click on that and add it to your work, you automatically create that aged effect everybody likes. So let's add that now. The next thing you want to go to want to do is have a really good look down at all of these different splatter effects that they have. And you can use any number of them. But in this instance, I'm going to use this one. And at the moment it's in black, which makes it easier to see. So you pop a bit of a splatter effect over here, but actually you're going to want that in white. And then you're going to copy it quite a few times and you can rearrange it. Put 
put over here. Sorry, this is taking a minute or two. Let's just really quickly put this into place. And uh, you can use any, you can use one splatter effect, you can use a number of different splatter effects, you can have a play around with it, see what works for you. That's a very quick rendition. The next thing you want to do is um, add the other splatter effect, uh, the splatter effect again, but you're going to want to colorize it. So you want to put it over the top and then you're going to want to choose a color that's very similar to what it's what it's going to be on top of. It's more of a yellow tone. Give that a bit of a twist. Copy it again. And go on all the way around, finding shades that fit in. Now, here's a little bonus tip for you. Let's scroll back up to where I had this photographed. Now, this only works with photographs. If you're working on a photograph, one of the cool things about um, the way Canva works is if you have a photograph, it helps. If you have a look over here in the photo, in the picker area, the color picker area, it gives you the five most um, common colors to your photograph. So you can easily pick out colors that match your image which is really cool. It doesn't work with um, with anything other than a photograph at this stage, but for the purposes of this exercise, I'm just hand, I'm just picking the, the colors by eye. So you go ahead and you go all the way around and create the splatter effect. Once you've created the splatter effect, you can go on and put um, anything on top of that any uh, silhouette like an island theme or in this instance I've put a tree and some butterflies just for uh, just because I like the look at the of them however the problem happens when you try to make this go on a t-shirt because if you put a black background behind this which I've done here all it's good it's got white behind it it's no good so uh, we have to actually um, take this and take the white out of it and the only way you can currently do this is to take it out of Canva. Canva doesn't have the ability to pick a color and or pick the white out and remove it. So take your sunset, take it, uh, download it over here as a PDF, sorry a PNG not a PDF and then Bring it into either Photoshop or Photopedia. They work very similarly. Bring it into uh, your Photoshop. When it's in Photoshop, go over here and use the magic wand tool. Click on anywhere where the, the white is. Um, it will select the white, but if you notice, it's missed some of the white. It hasn't picked it all up. So a little trick, if you don't already know it, is to go up to where it says select and down to similar, click on similar, and it will select everything that's white in that image. Once you've selected everything that's white, you just delete the white out of it, resave it, send it back over here into Canva and upload it. And then you can put it on any color background you like you can create the text that you like with effects and curve and this one curve but let's curve this the other way and then you have a beautiful exploded sunset uh, let's see how you go with that. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments or any questions you have or any other little tips and tricks around this splatter effect that you have. And uh, thank you for watching.
the grind's melting because it's um it's it's becoming summer well it's becoming well winter where i live but it's becoming summer in america so thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing your comments.